Hello, I'm Jamie Latour, and this is a complete guide to armor synthesis in Destiny 2. Destiny 2 players begged Bungie for some kind of transmogrification system so they could make their boring piece of armor look like a much less boring piece of armor. Bungie finally listened and put the armor synthesis system into the game. Of course, like many things in Destiny 2, armor synthesis is needlessly complicated and difficult to say. So let's figure out how to transmogrify gear so your guardian could look as fashionable as possible. First, in order to use armor synthesis, you need to unlock it. Because you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Travel to the tower and head on over to Banshee44's kiosk. Talk to him, and you should be able to get a quest called Armor Synthesis Introduction. The next step involves heading over to the Annex and speaking with an Exo named Ada1, who can be found not too far from where the Drifter hangs out. After a short chat, she'll tell you that you need to go to Europa and find the Braytech facility, which is where you'll find the necessary data to unlock transmogrification. Head to this location on Europa's map and enter the Braytech building. You'll have to fight off a few enemies, but that shouldn't be a problem considering that you're practically an immortal super soldier from outer space. Enter this area over here to retrieve the data you need. Then head on over to the other side of the room to acquire a processing unit prototype for a device known as the Loom. Now head back to the tower and speak with Ada-1. She'll tell you to install the prototype on the loom. Speak to her again and she'll talk for a good long while about how happy she is that the prototype works. You'll then receive five Synthweave Bolt, Synthweave Plate, and Synthweave Strap, which are used to make cosmetics for the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter classes respectively. Terrific! You've unlocked Armor Synthesis. Now, how do we use it? To transmog your armor, you need the aforementioned Sith Weave materials, which can be gathered in a few different ways. You could either buy them from the store using silver, get them by doing certain quests, or you could collect another resource called Synth Cord, which can be gathered by doing bounties that you get from Ada. You used to need an additional resource called Synth Strand to purchase these bounties, but this system was already convoluted enough. So Bungie got rid of that, and now you could just use plain old Glimmer. Each of her bounties will give you 100 Synth Cord, which is the amount needed to turn it into Synth Weave at the Loom. The quickest bounties to complete are usually the Raid Dungeon bounties or the Vanguard bounties. Just stay away from the Destination bounties. They take forever to finish. As soon as you've got some Synth Weave, head to your character screen and navigate on down to the Appearance subscreen. Then head over to this section called Appearance Customization. In this menu, you can equip shaders to recolor your gear and take a piece of non-exotic armor and make a cosmetic item called an ornament. Ornaments can be reused on any piece of legendary or purple armor that changes appearance, and it costs one Synth Weave to create them. So find the armor you like, create an ornament, and slap it on your gear. And that's all there is to it. Now, no matter what you're wearing, you can be sure that you'll be the best-dressed guardian around. For more Destiny 2 guides, head on over to thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.